If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. We can begin by drawing a picture. So here we have one plate that is positively charged, the other plate is negatively charged. There is an electric field that exists between the plates. Notice that it points from the positive plate to the negative plate. And to calculate the magnitude of that electric field between the plates, we can use the following equation. This is always an equation you can use when you have parallel plates. We will simply plug in the delta V, which is our potential difference of 600 volts, and then the distance between the plates, which is 5.33 millimeters. Notice we have to convert that into the standard unit of meters by multiplying it by 10 to the minus 3. And when we plug in the known values, we should get approximately 1.13 times 10 to the positive 5 volts per meter. And that is indeed the correct answer to part A of the question. Now, in part B, we're putting an electron between the plates. We would guess, and guess correctly, that the electron would be pulled to the left because it would be attracted to the positive plate and also repelled by the negative plate. So there is an electric force acting on the electron. And we can calculate the magnitude of that electric force using the following equation. Notice we're using the absolute value of the charge. The particle is an electron, so we're supposed to be using a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs, but because it's an absolute value symbol, our answer will come out to be positive. And then the magnitude of the electric field was determined earlier, so we can plug that in here. And when you crunch that down, you should get an electric force of approximately 1.80 times 10 to the minus 14th, and the unit will be newtons because it is a force. Now, if the question wanted the direction of the force, then in our picture, the direction would be to the left, you could say, or pointing along the negative x-axis. Either one of those would be correct. But the question actually just wants the magnitude. So for now, we can just leave this as the answer to that magnitude of force. Now in part C, we are told that the electron is located 2.9 millimeters from the positive plate. We're going to end up moving it over to the negative plate, so we have to figure out this distance. We were told, of course, that the total distance between the plates is 5.33 millimeters. So if we subtract 5.33 by 2.9, we can easily get the distance from the negative charge to the negative plate. And we see that we get 2.43 millimeters. Now, in order to calculate the work required to push this electron to the negative plate, we have to use the following work equation where we have the absolute value of the force required to push the electron times the distance it travels times the cosine of an angle, and that angle will be between the displacement of the electron and the pushing force. Let's take a closer look at that. We've already determined that an electric force is pushing the electron in this fashion, and the magnitude of that force was this value right here. In order to push the electron to the right, we're going to have to apply our own force of the same magnitude. In other words, we have to apply what we might call an external force, and that has to equal 1.8 times 10 to the minus 14th newtons. The reason we have to apply this external force is because we want to push the electron towards the negative plate, and the only way to do that is to apply that external force. Now, since we're pushing it to the right, you'll notice that the angle between that external force and this displacement would be zero degrees. So when we plug into the work equation, we're going to plug in zero degrees for theta. So we're now ready to plug in the force. The distance it's traveling, again, is 2.43 millimeters. We have to make sure to multiply that by 10 to the minus 3 to get it into meters again. And then again, the angle is zero. And after you plug in and calculate, you should get approximately 4.37 times 10 to the minus 17th, and the unit of work will be joules. And that is the correct answer to part C. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.